My name is Ryan Francafort. And I'm Jill Francafort. And we've been going to Rolling Hills now going on four years. So I feel like God led us to be baptized. You know, Ryan came home after a men's retreat that he went on. And, you know, we, we sat in our bedroom and I, I heard about the weekend and, you know, he we made the decision, you know, we want to follow Jesus. This is what we want for our family. So that led us a few months later to get baptized in front of our church family and friends. And we couldn't be more grateful for the people that God put in our lives to get to that point and, and make, that, make that decision. I think God's gonna meet you where you are. You hear that a lot, but it's absolutely true. And I feel like he met me that day of where I was in the wilderness at the men's retreat and spoke to me. And I finally had obedience to listen to what he was saying. And that internally changed me and drove us through this process of wanting to get closer and wanting to be baptized to let people know like we love Jesus, we're gonna follow Jesus. And yeah, it's been, a, it's been life altering for us in terms of our, the friends we've made, our marriage, the way we raise our kids, and it's just been incredible. For those of you who are on the fence about getting baptized, um, I would say pray about it. You know, God is constantly talking to you. You just need those small moments of silence where you can sit, reflect, and listen to him, and he will put it on your heart as to what you should do and what his will is. So a lot of times that's all it takes is just listening. You know, we have so much noise in this world, um, but it's easy if you, if you want to try to turn that noise off and just listen to him. And he'll tell you the direction. And baptism is probably a direction that he wants you to take to just let others know, right? You proclaim your faith in our Lord and Savior. So we, had talked to Kennedy about getting baptized. You know, we, we were just sitting in our home one night and she said, she told Ryan and I, you know, I have Jesus in my heart and I wanna follow Jesus. And I'll never forget that moment. God has kind of created a plan for us over these last couple of years of you know, where he wants us to be involved in the church. And, you, you know, a lot of times you may say, oh, I don't have time to do that. I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. And you got to embrace the uncomfortable, right? Yeah. You're going to have uncomfortable times during your life. And I think we've learned that you just embrace them and you'll, you, the experiences you get from that, the rewards are just so much greater than that. So we've been, we've been blessed to be able to be on this journey and, you know, kind of listen to God as he tells us what to do next. <music>